there's always this thread of, of love or the thread of commitment that runs through everything that we do. Um, that means that it doesn't matter what happens, it doesn't matter you know, how silly the argument, we'll still be there together on the other side of it. And that's what keeps us always forging ahead and, and growing together. The funny thing is you realise that, that suddenly, and I don't even know how to put words around it, you are a, a couple. You're a force to be reckoned with. You are an indivisible force. And your first priority is not to your parents, not to anyone else, but to each other. So if people go, well, you know, I expect you to live down here next to us, or I expect you to, you go, no, no, sorry, this is our life. We are now a new unit in society. I think one of the most important things when you're making that commitment to your partner, um, you know, on your wedding day, is to totally accept him or her for who they are. They are the total package. They are, this is what you're getting. They aren't necessarily going to change from that position. Um, and I mean, I think generally we tend to be attracted to people who are different from us, but it's so easy in a conflict situation to say, well, why can't you be more like me? As I used to say constantly to Ralph, you know, why can't you be nice and, uh, uh, like and reasonable and sensible and logical like me? And of course, he's the total opposite, and that's precisely why my subconscious brain chose him and, and gravitated towards him, because I needed that aspect of him in me. And I now appreciate that that's who he is, and he's not going to change, and nor should he, because um, he is who he is. So that, that point where you actually learn to accept your partner for who they are, um, is very liberating. Of course, when you get married, this is where you're, you're really confronted by the power of words, where you really stake your claim and say, this is what I want. And it's very powerful to be standing there at the altar facing your partner uh, and saying, you know, when they ask you that question, do you choose to take this partner for your lawfully wedded husband? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you stand there and you say, I do. And I know from uh, my experience, they were the two most powerful words I ever spoke. And I like to take them forward into my life and have an I do approach now to everything that I do.